In my last video, I turned a Samsung Galaxy S20 into a gaming PC using Samsung DeX. And while it did great, there was two problems. The first one is that this is an almost five year old device. So this thing is not well optimized for modern games and it's starting to show its age a little bit now because it's out of software support. The second problem is it's got Exynos 990 processor in it, which is definitely not ideal for gaming. These things get really hot under loads and the performance is actually inferior compared to their Snapdragon counterparts. And getting emulators to work on the Exynos 990 was even harder. I just couldn't get any decent games to run on this thing. So all of you guys flooded to the comments with one suggestion and that's to try it using the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. But I'm not gonna buy a brand new phone for a video, am I? Well, yes I am and here it is. Oh, here it is, S24 Ultra. So let's take it out of the box and see what we get. Now I've never had a decent Android flagship phone before, so it'd be very interesting to see how this works for me. And maybe by the end of the video, I might consider switching to one of these. So just peel these off and here it is. Wow, look at that. That looks clean. I decided to go with titanium black, which is pretty good color and wow, that is Pretty nice. So inside this thing, we've got a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, 12 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gig of storage, and integrated into the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, we've got an Adreno 750 GPU. Now yeah, there are better gaming phones out there than a S24 Ultra, but the main reason I'm getting this is for Samsung DeX. So we can plug this into a keyboard, mouse, and monitor, and turn it into a full desktop gaming PC-like experience. All right, well, I'm going to go and set this up and then we'll connect it to our setup and get gaming on here. All right, guys, so I've had some time to play around and set up my S24 Ultra. So now it's time to plug it into a keyboard, mouse and monitor and see if we can get Samsung DeX running on here and then try some gaming. So in my last video, I used a USB-C dongle, but this time we're taking it a step further. Not only have we got the best phone Samsung produces, but we've also got a better setup. So we've got a mobile dock here. We've also got a Dell dock, which my keyboard, mouse, monitor, and everything's all plugged into. So all we need to do is literally just take our S24 Ultra in there. And also this dock charges it as well. So I haven't got to worry about battery life draining when I'm gaming on Samsung DeX. There we go. We're in. So if I just unlock Access it here, denied. and I believe we have to go to settings, Samsung DeX, and boom, here we go. Samsung DeX. So I've also attached my capture card to this so you can see exactly what I'm doing on my monitor. It means I don't have to record it. And yeah, as for the phone, we can simply just turn it off and leave it to it. So this is the setup. We have got, unfortunately, a smaller monitor this time, the same keyboard and mouse, and we've also got my Scuf PS4 gaming controller, which we're going to be using in some games later on. Right, let's start with our first game and let's go with Minecraft. Minecraft's a fairly easy game to run. It's meant for mobile, so it should run no problem on Samsung DeX. It should feel pretty much just like playing on a PC. So here we go. Here is Minecraft. I don't have as much input lag as I had on the S20, which is quite good. Like, I could actually play on this. This is super smooth. So the other thing that a lot of people corrected me in my last video was that if I was to go into my inventory, it would be like the Minecraft Pocket UI. And you simply just change that. It's so simple. You go into settings, you go into video, scroll down and put the UI profile on classic rather than pocket. And then after that, you've pretty much got a Minecraft PC-like experience and it plays super well. Now, yeah, admittedly, there's a little bit of stutter when we're loading in new chunks and that kind of thing. But as far as Minecraft Bedrock Edition is concerned, it's a fairly well optimized version of the game and it runs absolutely no problem on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 that we have in this S24 Ultra. So I've just loaded up Minecraft 1.7.10, which is the default selection that it gives you. Granted, it's quite an old version of the game, but it should run really well on this S24 Ultra. So the question is, how much FPS can we get? Let's have a look. Ready? Boom! What? 400 FPS on this phone. That is crazy performance. Now, yeah, we are on low video settings, so we could probably turn them up 
but I mean, not every phone's gonna be able to run Minecraft Java Edition too well. But yeah, I've heard that the S24 Ultra does play quite well on here. So let's just, uh, let's just see if we can turn up these video settings here to the maximum. So these are the video settings that I'd normally have it on if I was just playing regularly on PC. And still we're getting like 300 FPS. We could probably get more in a super flat world. Now, if we weren't outputting to this monitor, keyboard and mouse setup that I've got going on here, we'd probably get quite a lot higher FPS. But we do have to drive a monitor, keyboard, mouse, so it's probably not the best situation, but still, it's perfectly good FPS. I could play like this, and it pretty much feels like I'm playing on PC. Now yeah, this is an old version of Minecraft. Let's try the latest 1.21 version and see how it runs on here. All right, here we go, 1.21. Now, just as we're loading in here, it does feel a little bit on the choppy side. The FPS isn't the best. It just feels really choppy for some reason. But yeah, we're getting about 120 to 130. Over 100 FPS on fancy graphics on 1.21. That is crazy. Uh, let's just throw down the video settings. Ah, uh, there we go. This feels much smoother now. And then if we look at the FPS, did I just see 500 there? 600. Wow. <laughs> this is pretty good frames, to be honest. Pretty good performance overall. If you gave me this setup and said this is connected to a PC, I'd probably believe you. So turning the S24 Ultra into the ultimate gaming setup, I'm really impressed and just surprised at how far technology has come. However, in an ever advancing tech world, you need to stay secure. Nowadays, people have so many online accounts. Just for this video, I've had to download so many games, log into my accounts, and managing them all can feel literally impossible sometimes. However, this is where our sponsor, NordPass, comes in. NordPass is a pass password manager which allows you to secure all of your passwords and sensitive data in one place. Now imagine the challenges that I just faced on a bigger scale like a massive business or corporation. Without a proper system managing something like passwords and sensitive data can become a real hassle. Access controls might fall apart, it's really difficult to tell who has access to what and also really difficult to stay compliant with all the rules and regulations now. However, NordPass solves all of these problems. With NordPass you can say safely secure all of your passwords and sensitive company data all in one place. You can easily control who has access to what within a team and you can save time by automating password management so your team can focus on what they should be doing working. It also uses secure encryption and also allows you to be compliant with all rules and regulations. So I highly recommend checking out NordPass. If you want to try it for yourself, check it out at nordpass.com slash notrodan and use my code notrodan to get a free three month trial to decide whether it's good for your business or not. Thank you to NordPass for literally making this video happen. Let's get back into the video. All right, now it's time to try some other games other than Minecraft on here. So for that, I think we're going to be needing our PlayStation 4 Scuf Gaming Controller, which I've paired with this phone. So we're gonna be playing Call of Duty Mobile, which surprisingly actually works with a controller. I'm really bad at controller. Ooh, double kill. Are these bots? These have gotta be bots, surely. But yeah, we can actually play this game with controller. This literally feels like I'm playing on a console. I mean, the graphics, yeah, they're not the best. But yeah, I mean, the, the video title isn't I turned an S24 Ultra into a games console. So let's move on to another game. Yeah, let's try Fortnite, which is a game that I couldn't get working in my last video, but I should be able to now. All right, here we go. We are playing Fortnite on the S24 Ultra. Now, this time, we're not actually using GeForce Now. We're actually playing on the phone's actual hardware. As you guys can probably tell by the graphics quality, it's not the best. So I actually couldn't get this working in my last video. And the reason for that is because I wasn't using a controller. I thought you didn't have to use a controller. You could just use the touch controls. Or if you plugged in a keyboard and mouse, it would work because Fortnite is basically cross-platform. But no, apparently the only way to get Fortnite Mobile working on Samsung DeX is with a controller. All right, so I've just upped the settings to about medium settings, but I put the texture quality on high. So the game looks a lot better now. And I've also got the FPS counter and look at our frames. Now, yeah, obviously we're in a playground match right now. So 60 FPS, it's all right, I suppose. It's kind of console levels of performance. Maybe not the PS5 Pro, but still, if I try and use the keyboard and mouse, nothing won't even let me do anything. So the only way to interact with Fortnite 
is to play with a controller. In actual gameplay with epic settings on Fortnite, as you can see here, our FPS is more sort of in the 40s than in well into the 60s, a consistent 60s FPS. So yeah, you'd probably want to put your video settings down if you wanted to run Fortnite on here with Samsung DeX playing with a controller. Let's do a quick little phone heat test. Oh, okay, it's getting hot now. I can definitely feel it's getting quite hot. We might need to give the phone a little break after this. All right, now it's time to take things even further. So, so far, all we've been doing really is just been playing mobile games that you can quite easily get off the Google Play Store. They're optimized for mobile and we're essentially just putting that on a bigger screen. But what if I told you we can actually run genuine PC games off this phone through Samsung DeX, just like a proper gaming PC. Well, with this application called WinLater, we can do just that. So WinLater basically allows us to emulate Windows games on Android. It basically uses Wine, which is also what you use on Linux and Mac to run Windows applications, except since Android is basically Linux, we're pretty much doing the same thing through this. You'll see what I mean. So in my last video, I tried to run Fallout 3 and I just kept getting stuck. It was just ridiculous. It just wouldn't work. And that's because I was using a Samsung Galaxy S20 with an Exynos processor, which is really not good for emulation whatsoever. It's... However, now since we've got a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in the S24 Ultra, emulation has just become so much easier now. So let's try and run Fallout 3 again. Well, it's actually opened up. In my last video, I couldn't even manage this. I managed to get it to work and it was just like a small clip on my phone of me just looking around. I couldn't play the game whatsoever. It just wasn't playable. Now, unfortunately, even though we have got Fallout 3 running on here, the keyboard and mouse doesn't actually work. So although we can use the mouse to like control through menus and stuff, actually playing and moving around, we can't actually do unfortunately. So we have to get out our trusty controller and try it with this. And what do you know, Fallout 3 officially running on the S24 Ultra. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but we've got an FPS counter. It's very small, but we're getting 60 FPS on, I'm pretty sure this is like some of the lowest settings you can get on here. I've definitely made sure to turn them down because at the end of the day, this is a PC game. It's not really meant for Android, but you know what? It works. But still, I think we're going in a really good direction here with emulation on Android and actually being able to get PC games running on a phone, which is crazy. So if you remember in my last video, I tried GTA Vice City on the S20. Well, now we're going to take it a step further and we're going to go with GTA 5 on the S24 Ultra. So getting this to run has been an absolute pain and I've somewhat got it to work. It only works with our controller, so we're going to need that. And yeah, getting the files, there is quite a lot of them, and it's quite a big file. So yeah, GTA 5 is not the most optimized game for the S24 Ultra. We've got the signature GTA 5 loading screens. The game takes forever to load, but when we eventually do get into a game, we can only play for like a couple of minutes before it just crashes. You'll see what I mean. So we're entering the story modes here. We're starting all the way from the beginning, and uh, yeah, I mean, it plays. I mean, look at this. We've got GTA 5 running on Samsung DeX before GTA 6. So yeah, obviously we have to play with our controller. So if I just uh, go over here, go to the guard. Yeah, I honestly can't believe this is possible. Like before, there used to, do, there used to be so many fake versions of GTA 5 on Android, how to get GTA 5 on mobile. But now it's actually a thing. We're actually running it off the S24 Ultra. It's kind of insane. And I don't think I've seen any videos before on YouTube of people actually playing GTA 5 on Samsung DeX. But yeah, it's not very well optimized. You'll see it's it's probably gonna crash around here and that's it we can't do any more win later just stops responding if anyone can actually help me try and get this running properly on here definitely let me know in the comments if you know what I should be doing all of the settings out there that I found on YouTube for win later but I just can't seem to get it to work but given how we've only got about one or two minutes to actually play GTA 5 before it crashes I can't actually go through all the settings and turn them down so we're pretty much stuck with this. Maybe in a new update of WinLater, it might get a bit more stable on here, but I'm really excited to see what the future holds for gaming on the S24 Ultra.